Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to the worst movies of 2021, since I know it's coming to an end, 2021. And I mean, trust me, probably with this, uh, probably with a lot of these films, there were a lot of these films I saw a lot, and then mostly some of them were but. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, here are my honorable mentions for worst movies of 2021, because trust me, we have a lot of stinkers, all right? Butt stinkers. Oh, I could probably say that way. Here are my honorable mentions. Matrix Resurrections. The Addams Family 2. Malignant. The Voyagers. The Woman in the Window. And Don't Breathe 2. Uh, those movies were pretty terrible. I'll tell you that. So, starting at number 10 is Escape Room 2. Escape Room 2 really did not make, really was like a ripoff of Saw. And I did not expect this to be a good movie better than the first one. Like, I watched this film and I'm just like, this gets more worse than the first. Like, I watched first one, I go like, well, that was dumb and stupid. Like, that's why I thought the same way with Escape Room 2. Like, everything they use is same and it's like a ripoff of the Saw movies. Like, all those movies are... All those Saw films were very entertaining to watch, but probably the first one's a classic. So, that's probably with that one. Number nine, The Unholy. The Unholy was just like literally a exorcist ripoff at a church or something. And like, this like proud Mary demon, this like none of it really made any sense. And like, it was just like such a boring film to watch. I wouldn't see this again because it was like such a terrible movie. Like, I'd be like, I come out and I go like, well, that sucked. It's pretty, it was a pretty terrible movie. And, uh, yeah, that, I did not like that. I didn't like that film at all. Number seven, Separation. Separation, I also didn't like this movie at all. Like, I didn't really understand these characters that much. And then this whole, like, puppet, th these whole, like, de this whole, like, stuff was just, like, literally like nothing about it like i kind of probably forgotten this movie or something that's what i could probably tell you like separation was just like nothing but a boring list like horror movie that i think was like about a horror divorce i'm not sure at all so uh yeah number seven i mean i probably said eight separation i meant to say number eight so got a little mixed up there so sorry Number seven, The Forever Purge. The Forever Purge was just like another terrible, boring, violent action movie. Well, horror movie, blah, blah, blah. But everything was just like boring and so stupid to watch. Like, this movie was just too bad. Like, why are you going to put this in a country? I would rather have this like in a city and have make it a better Purge movie. Like, call it The Forever Purge. It was like a dumbass title to read it with. And, like, all these characters are, like, not understandable. And, like, some of this is just, like, not worth your time. Like, it's just movies about people killing each other. And you're going to probably, like, it's just, like, it's just a normal thing. So, number six is uh, Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. It's a reboot of the Milia Jovovich films. Uh, sorry about that. There's just hammering going on. And, uh, and, uh, mostly everything of this film just, like, doesn't feel like a horror movie or something. Like, I watched this film, like, when I was, like, probably by the third act, I go, like, can this be over? And then I'm just like, well, there you go. Yeah, so that was not good. Number five, Clifford the Big Red Dog. Clifford was a not likable movie because it was very terrible. Because usually live-action cartoons are not that great, except Sonic the Hedgehog, which that was very fun to watch. But Clifford, everything was just so stupid in there. And the CGI giant dog was just terrible. And they also mentioned the dog T-Bone, and he is nothing like that at all. Because he was a pug, and uh, it's nothing like it. Number four. Number four, you're going to probably be a little impressed by this one, uh, Spirit Untamed. Spirit Untamed was a terrible animated movie that's a s sequel of a horse named Spirit. 
and and it's nothing like the first one because I've seen how clips were, and I know I believe the first one in, has Matt Damon and Hans Zimmer. That's like the better spirit film to watch, but the second one's just awful garbage. And like the whole animation was just so creepy. Number three with other of animation, live action, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry was just like another terrible cancer film. Like all the cartoon stuff were not funny. The characters were all boring. Tom and Jerry were just the same, but every other character was just so stupid and nothing else. Chloe Martez, Chloe Grace Martez was so useless in that film. So, yeah, that is another top worst movie. Number two, um, here's ones that were very, very bad. All right, these movies were terrible. All right, so, but here's this one I had at number two. I watched on streaming. Yeah, streaming. So as of streaming of number two, it's Home Sweet Home Alone. Or should I say, Home Sweet Bag. Yeah, that film is terrible. All right, you have like, Characters that get that are not funny. All the pain scenes were just ugly to watch because, like, probably stuff like that's not how that works. All right, and like you have like stuff that uh, is not the same as the original Home Alone. The first two are the classics. Everything else is just terrible. And like this character named Max was just so boring to watch and. Uh, all these characters were just like, didn't say a lot of stuff, and I go like this. Line, line, I forgot my lines. Yeah. Number one. The number one worst film of 2021 that I cannot stand this film. But I'm just going to be figuring, laughing at myself when I saw it in theaters with my friend. And I'm just like, man, that was just the most terrible film to watch. Alright, number one is a movie that you maybe never maybe saw before, never heard of before. Um, here's what I'll tell you what this movie's called. This movie is called Death Rider in the House of Vampires. This film was god-awful dog. It was just terrible. Like, this movie, I can't even think of. Like, cinematography was poorly shot. The opening scene got so slow. You can't, they did not even, like, cut to I go like, Okay, cut to edit, cut to edit, there we go, and like a lot of the characters didn't, don't even say anything when they film the camera on each other for like five seconds, <laughs> and we go like, line, line, I forgot my lines, line, line, I forgot my lines, and all the cinematography was poorly shot, and I couldn't even really stand this film. And all the action scene visual effects were terrible. The CGI was bad. The characters were bad. The cinematography was bad. The acting's bad. The production design was bad. The screenplay was bad. Everything in this movie was so bad. I hated this film. And Danny Trejo was only in there for like a couple of seconds in the opening movie. So, yeah. Death Rider was the worst movie of 2021. So, um, that is going to be all I have. Um, see you guys next time, and I'll probably maybe do later top 10 best movies of 2021. And, uh, that is all I got, and I will see you next time. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!